At the edge of downtown LA, there's a bakery called Homeboy. It goes against pretty much any business plan someone would write. Take formerly incarcerated men and women from rival gangs and give them jobs in an industry where they have no training or skill. But year after year, Homeboy continues to grow. And after three decades, it keeps getting stronger. All right, all right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. There you are. Miss Lizette, can you give us our mission statement? Oh. Por favor. Where you at? Bam. Mission statement. <laughs> Homeboy Industries provides hope, training, and support to formerly gang involved and previously incarcerated men and women, allowing them to redirect their lives and become contributing members of our community. Bam. Thank you very much. What Homeboy is all about is really it's about love. We specifically look to help gang members coming out of the gang life, coming out of prison, really just stop the generations of gangs and their families and move on to careers and, and have a great life. Do we have any announcements from the floor? Shoot it. There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday, the other is called tomorrow. So today is the right day to love, do, believe, and mostly live. So let's do that today. All right. The man behind the scene of Homeboy Industries is Father Greg Boyd. He started a job training program in 1988 out of a small mission in Boyle Heights. We're talking 1980s LA, then known as the gang capital of the world. And Father Boyle's parish was right at the center. In order to understand the impact he's made, you got to understand what drove him to make that change. Where did the idea come from for, for Homeboy? Well, I was pastor for uh, six years in, the, in a very poor community with eight oh. gangs. Yeah. Highest concentration of gang activity in the world was my parish in those years. I started burying kids in 1988. I've buried 222 since then. Did you see the architecture of the program? No, I, no nobody ever sees any of this, because mm -hmm. all these things evolve, you know, and you back your way into things. So we invented these crews, you know, maintenance crew, landscaping crew, crew to build our child care center. All crews were made up of the eight gangs who were enemies fighting with each other. So my thing was with, with strategically hired gang members. They had a reason to get up in the morning and a reason not to gangbang the night before. That was my theory. Did Homeboy go through any challenges throughout oh the 90s? Oh my god. Yeah. The first 10 years were death threats, bomb threats, and hate mail. Really? Because we were helping gang members. And then something turned. People stopped wanting to be tough on crime, and they thought, oh, how about smart on crime? Then they saw this place as smart on crime. Yeah. This is creating, you know, the world that we ought to have. We're enemies who used to shoot at each other and make croissants back there, side by side. Right here, this is a place that I gave me the opportunity to learn a lot of stuff. It helped me change my life. You know, being a more uh, responsible man from family. I could do cookies, cakes. That's when my son is happy, when I make cookies at home. I've been here going on three weeks now. This place keeps me busy. Then the streets, you know? Because I have a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old. And I want to raise them better than the way I was. So I'm trying my best to get myself to go. I'll get there. This program taught me how to be responsible, to be punctual. Everyone's a big family right here. I want to go back to school. I want to study a fire tech. I want to be a firefighter. 